Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, semicircle with the center O and the diameter MN, as you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, this code uh, AB is uh, 28 uh, units. And moreover, uh, this segment uh, BC and this segment uh, AE are uh, 18 units each, whereas uh, these segments uh, EF and uh, CD are 26 units each as well and furthermore all these angles are 90 degrees each and now our task is to calculate the area of this semicircle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step since we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, semicircle. So therefore uh, we must calculate the radius uh, lowercase r first. And in this uh, next step I have dropped this perpendicular OP on this uh, code AB. And now let's recall the perpendicular bisector theorem. According to this theorem if a radius of a circle is perpendicular to a chord then the radius uh, bisects the chord. So therefore uh, this chord uh, AB has been uh, divided into two equal parts. Uh, this segment uh, AP and this other segment uh, BP. And we know this chord AB is uh, 28 units. So therefore uh, this segment AP is going to be 14. And likewise uh, this segment uh, BP is going to be 14 units as well. And now in this uh, next step, I have dropped this perpendicular DT on this uh, diameter MN. And I'm going to label uh, this DT length uh, as uh, lowercase uh, x. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, OP length is going to be the sum of these two segments uh, x and uh, 18. So therefore uh, this uh, OP length turns out to be x plus 18 and likewise uh, this uh, segment uh, OT length is going to be the sum of these two segments uh, BP and this segment uh, CD. If we add these one uh, 14 plus uh, 26. So therefore our this segment uh, OT length turns out to be 40. And in this uh, next step, I have uh, connected this center O with this uh, vertex uh, B. And as a result, we are ended up with this uh, right triangle uh, OPB. And now we can see that this uh, OB is the radius of this semicircle. So I'm going to label this one as uh, lowercase r. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, OPB. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here is our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square. And in our case our hypotenuse is uh, lowercase r whereas our two other legs are 14 and x plus 18. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, x uh, plus 18 whole square plus uh, 14 square equals to lowercase r square. And now let's recall this famous identity a plus b whole square could be written as a square plus 2ab plus b square. We are going to apply it on this uh, binomial on the left hand side. So therefore this is going to give us uh, x square plus uh, 36x uh, plus uh, 324 plus 14 square is uh, 196 equal to r square. Let's combine the like terms. So therefore we are going to have uh, x square plus uh, 36x uh, uh, plus uh, 520 equals to r square. And I'm going to label this one as our equation number one. And now in this uh, next step I have connected this center O with this uh, vertex uh, d as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see this uh, OD is the radius of this uh, semicircle. So I'm going to label uh, this uh, radius uh, as uh, lowercase r as well. And now we are going to focus on this uh, right triangle uh, OTD. 
And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle as well. And here's our Pythagorean theorem once again, a squared plus b squared equal to c squared. And in our case, our uh, hypotenuse is lowercase r, whereas our two other legs are uh, 40 and uh, x. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So we got uh, x squared plus uh, 40 squared is going to be equal to r squared. And let's simplify. We are going to get uh, x squared plus uh, 1600 is going to be equal to r square. I'm going to label this one as our equation number two. So thus we are ended up with these uh, two equations, equation one and equation two. And now we are going to compare uh, these two equations and we can see our right hand sides are uh, identical. So therefore we can equate uh, the left hand sides uh, as well. So therefore we could write uh, x square uh, plus uh, 36 uh, x plus uh, 520 turns out to be equal to x square uh, plus uh, 1600. And now we can see x square and x square they are uh, gone. So therefore we can write uh, 36 uh, x plus uh, 520 is going to be equal to 1600 and now we are going to subtract 520 from both sides this is uh, gone so therefore uh, 36 times uh, x turns out to be equal to 1080 and now we are going to divide both sides by 36 to isolate x so therefore uh, our x value turns out to be 30 units and now in this uh, next step let's focus on this equation too and here i have copied down equation two over here and we know our x value is 30 so i'm going to substitute x value 30 over here as you can see in this uh, next step so therefore this is going to give us uh, 900 plus uh, 1600 equals to r square let's combine the like terms so therefore r square turns out to be equal to 2500 and i'm going to undo this square by taking square root on both sides so therefore our radius r turns out to be 50 units so the radius of this semicircle turns out to be 50 and here's our final step. Now we are going to calculate the area of the semicircle. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula. Area is always equal to pi r square, where r is the radius. And since we are dealing with this uh, semicircle, so therefore uh, the semicircle area formula is going to be pi r square divided by 2. So therefore uh, the semicircle area is going to be pi divided by 2 times our radius is 50 whole uh, square. Let's simplify. That is going to give us uh, 2500 pi divided by 2. And that is going to be equal to 1250 times uh, pi square uh, units, the area of the semicircle. So thus the area of this uh, semicircle turns out to be 1250 times pi square units and that area is going to be equal to 3227 square units as well and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye